If you could see the state of my new apartment, you would be like, Mercedes, why are you sitting down to film a video? But I feel like sitting down to film a video will provide a little bit of normalcy to my life. I am really exhausted. I've barely slept. I'm stressed to the max, but I really wanted to do this video. I know the lighting is crazy. It's because there's windows that line this side of the apartment and this side is a mess. So this is just sort of a temporary situation while I figure things out. But clearly nothing can stop me from doing my monthly Beauty Heroes review, especially with a brand I really, really like, which as you now know, the August Beauty Heroes box features products by Laurel Whole Plant Organics. And the theme for this month is Let the Sun In, How Appropriate. And for all of you who dislike summer as much as I do, I am rejoicing that it's August, which means fall is just around the corner. So just to get some logistics out of the way, the hero product this month is the Laurel Whole Plant Organics Sun Damage Repair Facial Serum. And the two sidekicks are the Before and After Sun Body Oil and a Honey Berry Enzyme Mask, making the total value of this month's box well over $100. My brain is way too tired to do math and my phone is not near me. <laughs> okay, so let's talk a little bit about Laurel before I tell you about my experience using this product over the last two or three weeks, actually all the products. So this is now the second time that Beauty Heroes is featuring Laurel. They featured the, I actually have a bottle of it, the Antioxidant Facial Serum by Laurel last February. So not February 2016, but February 2015, they featured this product. If you are starting to notice, Beauty Heroes does sometimes feature a brand more than once. There've been now two Laurel boxes, two Mahalo boxes, uh, I'm not sure what else, but if you watched my last video, you know that I had an opportunity to meet Jeannie, who is the person that runs Beauty Heroes in person. I didn't think it was possible to be any more obsessed with the brand and the concept of Beauty Heroes, but after meeting Jeannie, it definitely is now next level. She's like such an inspiration on so many levels, but anyway, I'm not gonna go off on a tangent. I just, I got a much deeper appreciation for everything that goes into the curation of these monthly boxes and how far in advance they actually are planned out to coincide with seasons, with availability of the product from the brands, you know, Jeannie and the brand founders picking a really top-notch product from the line that is one of the best-selling products and that people really, really love. So there's just a lot that goes on behind the scenes to bring these boxes to fruition. And because there's so much investment that goes into creating the partnership, that's why sometimes Beauty Heroes will repeat a brand. And then another obvious reason is that subscribers to Beauty Heroes sort of ebb and flow in and out of subscribership. So it makes sense to repeat a brand after a period of time so that people that maybe who didn't get to try the initial Laurel box now get to. And Jeannie shared with me when I met her that she just heard so much feedback that people were really bummed that they missed the February 2015 Laurel box because I guess it is a brand and a product that people really, really wanted to try. So hence the repeating of Laurel with now another really amazing product. So reading the little insert this month, I learned some things about Laurel that I actually didn't know. I did not know that she was a former sommelier, which is very cool. I knew of her when she used to be Sequoia Beauty, which was many years ago. I think they've the rebrand was three or four years ago. But they're based in Northern California and consider themselves to be a leader in the slow beauty movement. Ingredients are harvested from organic farms within one, within a 100 mile radius from the Northern California studio. I actually think that the studio is in or around Marin, which is where I met Jeannie at the IO Spa. <laughs> I love this sentence in the insert too. Plant shaman might more aptly describe her almost mystical intuition and reverence for the healing power of the natural world. Plant shaman, I'm into it. So basically, great brand. I'm sure everybody has already heard of Laurel and is probably quite excited to get to try a product from the range if you haven't already. Okay, so. I'll be very, very honest and say, I was chatting with Danielle from Cruelty Free 
Vegan Beauty, uh, who's another Beauty Heroes brand ambassador. We all just seem to have a lot of face oils and we were like, yeah, blogger problems. But there have been a number of face serum products that have come through in the Beauty Heroes boxes in the last six months or so. And if that is a concern to you, just know that there is not going to be a face oil until well into 2017. I was sort of secretly hoping when I knew that it was going to be Laurel that it was going to be a full-size hero of the California body oil just sort of selfishly because I a have been dying to try that product and b really need a body oil which um, coincidentally uh, I am going to be trying a new body oil that's carried on the Beauty Hero shop and will be reviewing it for you sometime in the coming month, probably. So my body oil wish came true, but I was really, really excited to see at least a sample of one of the Laurel body oils because I've been dying to try it. And so, yes, as you can tell, I, I used it basically up. I saved a little bit just so I could show you the color of it, but... Um, I'll get to those in a minute. Let's talk about the Sun Damage Repair Serum first. So. Jeannie grew up in Hawaii and I guess has suffered quite a bit of sun damage and hyperpigmentation. She shared this with, she shared this with me when we were at International Orange and having dinner afterwards. She's always looking for ways to repair past sun damage, prevent future sun damage, things like that. And this is obviously not an isolated concern of hers. One of the main questions I get, not even from people that watch my videos, but from like friends in real life um, that know that I do this and maybe don't watch my videos all the time. I've just heard so many people talk about having melasma or hyperpigmentation or wanting to fade acne scars or, you know, the list goes on and on and on. Enter the Laurel Sun Damage Repair Facial Serum. So while I can tell you about my product experience using this over the last two or three weeks, uh, I don't really have a lot of hyperpigmentation. So it's, and I, it would be too soon for me to say whether or not it's been efficacious for me personally in that respect. Jeannie told me that she has seen just fantastic results when she started using this regularly. So that'll just be something I'll have to keep you updated on. The nice thing about this product is you can wear it morning and night. And when you wear it in the morning, it offers sort of a base layer of sun protection. Not to say that you should rely on this for SPF at all, but layered under other SPF products, I feel good about using it when I know I'm going to be in sun, which is honestly really not often because I hate the sun. So some of the powerhouse ingredients in here are the Scarlet Pimpernel Flower, Organic Licorice, which I guess naturally breaks up melanin patches, and the Vitamin A in Carrot Seed Oil strengthens the integrity of collagen and elastin meshwork. There's also Cranberry Seed Oil, Jojoba and Red Raspberry Seed Oils, adding a layer of plant-powered sun protection. Uh, everything in here is organic if I'm looking at the full ingredient list and the asterisks that denote certified organic ingredients. So with continued use of this product, you can expect a reduction in skin discoloration and a brighter complexion, support of collagen and elastin integrity, and long-term repair of free radical damage. You can use it morning and evening, like I said, four to six drops, massaged over a cleansed and still damp face. So as you can see, it is just the most beautifully vibrant color. Yeah, it just, it feels so potent and just, yeah, really beautiful. Um, to me, it has like a it, like a fruity scent to me. I think it must be like the red raspberry seed oil or the pimpernel. But it does smell not like um not like the skinal mangosteen sort of fruity, but like an herbal fruity. It's really nice. Um, I would say it's sort of a medium to heavy viscosity, at least I find it to be. I don't find it to be a thin oil. I find it to be a pretty substantial oil. That said, I, do, I don't have an issue using it in the morning. I find that it sinks in 
quickly and if I'm not going to be doing the Cary Gran or the Suntegrity Untinted Primer, then I'll use this. So I can really only use the face oil in the morning if I'm going to be using the Suntegrity 5-in-1 Tinted. I wouldn't be able to use a face oil and then use Cary Gran, for example. I've been, I've been testing this out morning and night. It layers really nicely with lots of my other skincare. And that's, I guess, pretty much what I have to say about it. It's been a really a pleasure to test out. I feel really good about using it because everything is organic. It feels really protective and nourishing. Um, the only thing that concerns me a bit, but this can be said of really all sort of handcrafted, highly potent products, is that they you do have to use them up sort of as quickly as you can um, to sort of be at their maximum potency and efficacy. So given that I only have one face and that I have so much other skincare, I tend to use this quite liberally on my neck and decollete as well. I will decant samples of this out to friends and in order to use things up, I have been known to also take a dropper full of an expensive face serum like this and mix it into a body oil and use on my arms. So that's just another tip if you are finding that you're not getting through things fast enough in terms of using them yourself or with your family or giving away, then I just mix it in with my body care, <laughs> which, um, you know, if you have it and want to use it up, why not? Okay, so then I'll talk quickly about the sidekicks. As you can tell, I really enjoyed the before and after sun body oil. I still really want to try the California body oil, but um, this I liked so much. I'm always on the hunt for good body oils that speak to me, that I would actually be willing to pay $70, $80 for. I'm pretty sure I would with this one. I really, really liked it. I really like the full-size packaging and dispenser of Laurel body oils as well. They come with a really nice pump, like the pump on the Cary Gran products. It's like a full-size bottle with that sort of pump on it, and I just really, really like that. This felt so moisturizing, but I could still use it in the morning and put clothes on so it wasn't like overly greasy. In fact, it wasn't greasy at all. It sank into the skin, but felt really, really moisturizing. The scent was just divine it lingered on the skin like pretty much all day which i really enjoyed and yeah now i have a thing for like laurel body oils i have tons and tons of face serums but um it's harder for me to find body oils i like so i just big rave i'm so glad that they included this for us to try now the honeyberry enzyme mask <laughs> i have reviewed this before and it's not one of my favorite products, and I stand by that. I reviewed it in a flash review I did of Laurel, and then in my recent empty products video, I think I reviewed it again. I reviewed it pretty extensively there, but I just didn't, I like the concept of this, but I have found other enzymatic masks to just have a more noticeable effect on my skin, and I found that unless I was washing my hair, this was just sort of sticky, and I just the user experience wasn't great for me personally um, if I wasn't washing my hair like my hair would get stuck in it because it is quite sticky with the honey or maybe I was using too much um, you are I think to make it more spreadable and emollient you can sort of wet your fingers and um, to help the mask spread but anyway I'm not gonna open it up because I'm actually going to include this in a giveaway that I'm going to be doing in a couple of weeks so I'll be throwing it into that package. I think comparable products to this are like Tata Harper Resurfacing and Leilani Mermaid Mask, both of which I like. I consider this to be in that camp. Again, great for travel. If you are doing traveling this summer, I always like to take um, some sort of exfoliant with me when I travel in case my skin needs it. So this would be great to throw in a travel skincare bag. Okay, so also I was right. Um, <laughs> I wasn't sure that I was from my Something I mentioned in my last video, the Love More promotion for the month of August is that if you spend $125 in the Beauty Heroes shop, you receive a full-sized prickly pear seed oil rollerball by Kahina, which is a $40 value. Like, wow, I think that that's such a good Love More promotion. And I think in general, 
the Love More promotions are spending over a hundred dollars and they're usually around 20, 15 to 20 dollars in value. So spending just a little bit more this month gets you that prickly pear seed roller ball which is great for under the eyes. So if you're in need of an eye serum, this would function as that. So if you would like to subscribe to Beauty Heroes this month to receive this box from Laurel for $39, you can click on the description bar below. There's a link to take you to subscribe, which would get you this box and the subsequent two boxes. You do have to subscribe for a minimum of three months now at $39 a month, but um, there's just so many exciting things coming up with Beauty Heroes. Next month is going to be my year anniversary of reviewing Beauty Heroes boxes, so I'm doing something a little bit special to commemorate that. Not the retrospective video, I'm doing that as well, but I'll be doing something special with that box, which features a brand I'm totally obsessed with. I feel like maybe I say that all the time, but this really is an incredible brand. So I'm really excited for that. And yeah, Beauty Heroes is just so amazing. I can't even. They are going to be at Indie Beauty Expo in New York, which I'm trying to go to. It's probably going to be a game time decision for me, but if any of you are going, let me know. I would love to link up if you're going to be there. Um, I'm really going to try and go, but I've been taking so much time off of work for traveling and moving, so... We'll see. That's all from me today. The lighting situation will hopefully be better in my next video. So thank you so much for watching. All the information you need is in the description bar below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing Beauty Heroes monthly review videos. It just lets me know to keep doing them for you guys. And I'll see you in the next one soon. Bye.